from the threat itself, he shall reclaim the power to conquer it. Okay? And if you are indeed the returning one mentioned here, we may actually get rid of that monster once and for all. You might have noticed something off about that moon. We call it the Void Plenilun. Once it fully takes shape, Overthrax, the Thranodian of War, would be reawakening soon. It is an mm. ancient terror that reigns over our land, capable of devouring weapon frequencies to enhance itself. The Norfall Barons have become a massive graveyard of weapons after countless battles. Those weapons would have made it even stronger than before. Oh, please let me solo it. But we must act I now. I want a challenge. The Void is already visible. We must contain the Thranodian swiftly. Any delay could allow it to recover and become harder to deal with. <laughs> uh, and it's just for music of my funeral? Fred not. Our enemy is strong, but not unbeatable. Oh, I am positive we will prevail. That should have been a joke response. We'll get into the specifics once we reach our base. <laughs> Come on. That should have been a joke response. I've taken care of all the tacit discords nearby on my way here. The path ahead should be relatively safe now. Keep going and we'll reach the base soon. Wait, what? 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 what, 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 what? What's that? What's that? What's that? Wait. Rocks? Climbing? It's a boss fight, right? Oh. Hello? Can I punch you? This is giving me Devil May Cry 4 vibes. All that's left is somebody yelling out, The Savior is coming! Oh! It bubbled itself. Overthrax's towering statue, built from repurposed weapons and debris, has long loomed over Jinjo as a foreboding symbol of our ongoing struggle. Good to know. When can I punch it? We managed to gravely injure it three years ago, making the statue sink into the water. And now it just resurfaced. Our enemy must be eager to strike. Hello! Greetings, General. Master Tianxing? Didn't know I'd be seeing you here. Jun Qin recently arrived at our base with one of the supply delivery teams. She has been a great help. And aside for sore eyes, that's for sure. <laughs> General, you flatter me. I've heard people comparing the Norfolk Barons to a massive graveyard. Whenever it rains, cries and moans can be heard as if many ghosts are weeping. Master once told me, life and death should follow a natural course. The heavens and the earth form a vast chamber where spirits freely depart and return. Countless brave souls mm. have been trapped here by the evil powers of Overthrax. I want to help set them free. Now, if only I was level up. Please follow me. Our main goal is to contain the reviving Thranodian, but we must beware of the tacit discords too. They have shown unpredictability in every past battle. The Good Academy determined know. they were not native to the Norfolk Barons, and instead had been conjured by a mysterious power. After analyzing their behavior, who? I believe the source of said power is none other than that statue. While the Overthrax is still weakened, we must seize the opportunity to act. Oh, please, I want to fight at full With power. With danger from the continued onsets of TD outbreaks and many of our units injured and unable to fight, it is crucial to plan our attack wisely. Good to know. Please, join me in mapping out the strategic plans. Well, I mean, I have an empty head, so I can use it to bash something. Anything else? What the hell? 
Uh, oh wait, that's part of the story, right? I've split right? all combat units into three factions. The ranged units team will provide fire support from afar, while the infantry team engages in close combat. Lastly, we have the special task force of Rover, Yang Yang, Janshin, and me. Yeah, I get to play with Janshin. Allow me to introduce Kong Lin, leader of the ranged units team. All right, Kong, go on. And this is Yue Hui. He's in charge of the infantry team. Wah, wah. This is a topographical map wait, of wait, the North wait, wait, wait. The Overthrax's power limits our reach. Outrider scouts can't go beyond the Norfolk Barrens and Valley Junction. The Good deepest we ventured was three years ago, when we discovered the suspended ruins in its hinterland. All right. But the terrain is treacherous, narrow and flanked by high cliffs on both sides, leaving only one path for our troops to travel. So a funnel straight into the wall. On the other thing. hand. Our enemies must take the same route if they want to attack us. With the Overthrax reorganizing their frequencies and bringing them back, we will face endless waves of attacks. Every time we cut down an enemy, it gains more power. Time is of the essence. We cannot afford a prolonged battle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we must swiftly and safely get our strongest units in the heart of the battlefield, reach that statue, and take down Overthrax in time. Rover, let's plan carefully and use each team's strength to our advantage. First, our ranged units. Armed with long-range weapons, they can strike from a distance. But we need to strategize based on the terrain, topography, and enemy forces. All right. If we manipulate the terrain to our advantage, our strikes will be more effective and cover a larger range. Basically, we could put them here, but don't do that. If they have range attackers, that's gonna put them in sitting ducks. Where right. should we deploy the ranged units? Yeah. Hmm. Obviously, we're not sending them in. What? Are we going for full Stalingrad defense style with, with like guns pointing behind infantry? Oh, come on. Let's put him in the cliffs. Deploying our ranged units high above the valleys in advance. Yep. Let's have a good this shot. This way, they'll provide cover for our close combat forces while staying safe themselves. We'll use their range advantage to the fullest. It's a smart move. I mean... I can already see how it could go south. Next, the infantry. They have been trained and equipped for close combat. The heart of Norfall Valley is our main battleground, where we'll fight our enemies head on. How should the infantry engage enemy well, targets? I kind of skipped that, so... I mean... How will they engage with the flank? What if... Okay. I mean, obvious. This is the obvious answer. Now that the narrow terrain has dictated an inevitable confrontation, the infantry will attack head on, breaking their line. Then our task force can strike where they're vulnerable. A reasonable choice. Lastly, the special task force, all resonators with powerful abilities, they have superior mobility and combat skills. If the chance arises, they will be responsible for taking down the Overthrax. What should the special task force do? I mean, let's use flank tactics. Hmm. Flank tactics aim to avoid direct confrontation and exploit enemy weaknesses to take them down slowly. However, our combat power could be drained by the endless enemy assaults if we don't eliminate the Overthrax in time. We can't afford to prolong engagement. There may be more effective tactics available. What should the Special Task Force do? We'll join our effort to break through their defenses and crush their source of power. 
This is the only yeah, way to no, it. route the enemies. So, there's no way for me to fuck it up? Ah, it's a risky but necessary move under our current circumstances. Uh, yeah, yeah. I kind of wanted to just the battle plan is uh, clear. What I envisioned melee creating a buffer where we just push in with the melee. Special task force acts like cavalry. I will now just recap our plan. Blanking, punching in, breaking. Kong through Lin, the your team will take the cliffs for fire support. Yuehui, your team will charge enemy lines well, to pay anyways. for the special task force. I mean, aggressively charging yes, in, and that I'll should give Rover, the Yang, Yang, melee Jansha time to, to cover the gap, for our main and then just and take down do the, the same thing again and again and again, gain ground, and just beat the shit out of the Ternodian. <laughs> Good. Are we all clear on what to do? Our yes. next move is to reclaim the disruptor and break through the ground wave barrier. Easy. I'll beat the shit out of everything my way. Rover, do you see that iridescent veil? Yeah. That's the ground wave barrier. Overthrax set it up to absorb frequencies in the Norfall Barrens without interruption. One of our top priorities now is to protect the disruptor from tacit discord attacks. It's a powerful anti thranodian weapon from when Jinjo was founded. We need it to break through this barrier. All right, so we're just going to shoot a nuke at the barrier. The Good to know. Greetings, General GM, Rover. How's the preparation hey, going on your side? We've got good news and bad news. Good news is we've established connection to the disruptor and we're ready to go. Bad news is the disruptor's electric capacitor is damaged. Simply put, it's out of power. Wow. So we fixed Fortunately, it. Fortunately, there should be a backup power outlet. To use the disruptor, we'll have to repair that outlet first, then wait for a full charge. Any questions? Yeah, uh... In theory, we could. In practice, it's difficult. I mean, why not overload it, throw it at the Thrinodian, and go First, boom? it could dodge our attack. Not even a perfect hit can kill it. It will be greatly injured, but not dead. Thrinodians have been proven to be way stronger than we imagined. Our disruptor can't handle the Overthrax, but it can certainly break through that barrier. Any questions? That's because this ancient disruptor dates back at least to the founding of Jinjo. Creating such a powerful weapon with limited technology back then, whoever did it was truly a genius, I must say. Or was a maniac. If we were to unleash its full power on Jinjo City, it might launch the entire place into the air. Any questions? I can. But it takes time. No matter how fast I build it, Jinjo won't be able to hold out that long. Any questions? Well, By the way, this is a weapon of mass destruction. Oh, so WMD. The would want strict Great. control over its use, I assume. Will they really approve our application? The Magistrate and I have it covered. Trust me. All right. We'll be waiting for the green light. Lastly, we've got more bad news. Baija, please fill us in. Yes. Rover, I am currently monitoring the tacit discord attacks from the Academy to design a safer route for you. We just received word from our soldiers at the emplacement. A large number of tacit discords are targeting the disruptor, and our troops are doing their best to defend it. The Let disruptor me guess, has I been surrounded by the heads. tacit discords, right. with more of them slowly closing in. After we recapture the nearby emplacement, it will take some more time for the disruptor to recharge. You may need to hold out a little longer. I'll send you the coordinates of the disruptor and its backup energy port. We wish you the best of luck. I trust we all understand the situation now. Rover, yep. Yang Yang, please go and secure the disruptor and fix its backup energy outlet. Jian Xin, please stay and guard the base. I'll draw those tacit discords away. Let's get moving. Like, oh shit. Let me get for sure he's gonna die? Oh, come on. Let's be real. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me. And it's very much my companion now. Bearing witness to... Wait. Yeah. Yo. 
Rover, I'll defend our base. General Jian has set off with his team to distract. We'll leave the disruptor to you. Holy shit, is she taller? Wait, wait, I need to, I need to know. Is she taller? Is she Rover, taller? We'll leave the disruptor to you. Uh, just slightly. Oh boy. <laughs> Activate. All right, talk to me. You must be... Yang Yang, an outrider. General Jian sent us here to help. How are things going? Those monsters have occupied the emplacement with a surprise attack, but a few brave troops are still holding on. We've blocked off access to protect our base, but I'm opening it up for you. Please, they need your help. We're counting on you. All right. Get me now. The tacit discords are everywhere. They've cornered a soldier. Over there. He needs our help. Yeah, working on it. Come on, I dodged that. Synchronization. He should be safe now. I hope he's all right. Let's go check on him. Talk to me, buddy. Tell me you're General, alive and kicking. Is that you? No, Gruff man. It ain't. Is that so? Great. We know. How important this cannon is. We kept it safe. Never let them have it. Uh. This reparation key. Take it. I may not see our victory in person. Oh. But please, please defeat that monster for us. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna be a. I mean, yes, <sighs> we will win. Please rest in peace. Is that falling rocks? The rain has stopped. All right. General, is that a good or a bad the thing? The rain's effects are subsiding. We are observing a sharp decline in the number of TDs in the Norfall Barrens. Good. The disruptor All right. is fully charged and ready to fire. But, so uh, yeah. All right, talk to me. What's going on? It takes a lot of energy to fire the disruptor. If we missed. I mean, it's finally the barrier. How the fuck do you miss a barrier? It ain't gonna move, you know. This is our only chance. Greetings. Can you hear me? As the magistrate of Jinjo, I've obtained the approval to use the disruptor in combat. The enormous energy consumption, the risk of a misfire, and the weight of this decision, I will bear the responsibility. 
I alone will be accountable for the outcome of this battle, whatever it may be. General, Rover, please march on. May victory prevail the lasting night. I pray for your safe return. Oh, come on. Thank you for your trust, Madam Magistrate. No need for that, General. We've always shared the same goal, you and I. Attention all units. Do everything you can to assist. You are authorized to use the disruptor. Target the Norfall Barons. Defend Jinjo at all costs! costs. Mm. All right, now let's crack open the barrier like an egg. You see? Can't exactly miss a barrier, you know? I... Were you to miss... You have to put a... Blind person that's drunk. Yeah, let's go, little luggies. <gasps> Rux, one o'clock. Watch out, Chaz is of course in time. Okay. Going with the sounds. You're wide open. We'll shake them off. Use your grapple now. Master Tianxing. There's too many of them. Someone must stay behind to keep them at bay. Everyone, let's part ways here. Carry on with your mission. You can leave the rest to me. Okay, Bobby. Now, let's go murder all boys. Yeah, yeah. Rover, follow me. We're going down from here. Mind the cliff. Oh, come on. I saw that. Rover, are you all right? Stay sharp. More tacit discords incoming. <laughs> the suspended ruins are ahead of us. The resonance beacon here is still functioning, and the defense feature is intact, too. We can catch our breath here. The Overtrax assault has been as brutal as expected. We've been cut off from our main forces. And it's the three of here. us against all of them from here. Master Tianxing, I hope she's okay. I tried to contact her and our base, but nothing came back. The Thronodian's power is possibly interfering with terminal signals. We Most have no likely. choice but to trust them now. But we're bound to face a vicious fight. We've reached the suspended ruins. We'll get going once you're ready. It's unusually quiet inside. This wall. We should be able to pull it away with our grapple. Alright, so... The walls I can pull. Wouldn't hurt to be more prepared. Tell me about it. Every path ahead has been cut off. All right, while well, we're looking at the map. Every path ahead has been cut off. Yeah, this, they didn't fix this. All right. We're not seeing anything at the moment. Rover, be careful. Something bigger might be waiting for us ahead. Creating a tacit discord with this level. But it won't stop us. Swift and 
resolute. Hmm. All right. As expected, the enemies are increasingly strong as we approach the statue. Have you been injured, Rover, Yang Yang? I'm okay, but Rover, he... Give me your hand. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> the battle has left you with a few scratches. I still have some first aid with me. Please use them. The upcoming battles will be even uh, more dangerous. Mate, yeah. Should you get injured, you must let me know in time. Let's keep moving. Good. Anything here hidden? Nope. There are several floating platforms ahead. Perhaps we can make use of them. Alright, that just pull up. I'm not gonna question it. Watch out! I can feel tacit discords ahead. And dead. These rocks are blocking our way. We'll need to get rid of them. Finally. Rover, you hear me? Yep. Our signals got blocked off by the Thronodian's power. It took us a lot of effort to make this call get through. They keep but it I short. I have to say, your terminal has a very intriguing design. We'd love to thoroughly investigate it once we have the chance. Now back to business. We are aware of your situation. Luckily, your current location is still within the disruptor's range. We can provide fire support. You've seen what the disruptor is capable of. We can turn down the output power, but I strongly advise finding cover far away. The structure of this building is almost entirely destroyed. We'll need to create a safe space where we can take cover. There is a floating platform over there. Perhaps we can make use of it. Yeah. Aim at that wall. We can pull ourselves up. Mortify, it's time. Understood. Watch out, everyone. Fire! Fire the cannon, spears, lasers. We did it. The disruptor's power is down to one third. We can only fire it one more time. After that, it needs to recharge. Take care, everyone. I'm on standby to help you any time. Let's try pulling the floating boulders together. This should make a path ahead. One moment, Rover. We can work the terrain to our advantage here. Let's try to pull down. Well done. I mean, it did say use the terrain to our advantage, so. Same situation. Let's do it again. An impermanence heron. In this... An impermanence heron. In this place. Let's approach it with care. Alright, again. 